I wanted something that was different. Something that will be new to me. A warmer water species that's faster, more active. This is a species that's been kept in aquariums to be studied for its intelligence. It's an octopus cyanea, known as the day octopus. Uh, they call it that because unlike some other octopus species, these guys are active during the day, and so you get to see them more. Yep, yeah, pulling hard. Well, just a minute, I'll put you in the tank. No, no, not yet, not yet. Just a minute. There you go, there you go. There she goes. Oh, nice color change. Oh, look at this. Nice. I mean, I guess the big thing for me about keeping an animal in the home is it's just more relaxed. If I don't want to do anything, I don't have to do anything, you just see what the animal does. And I, I'm not trying to do science here. I'm just trying to think a little bit. So it's just a chance to be more available and more present for whatever the animal's living day to day. Yeah, she's very careful to keep her eyeball in, in view of mine. And she's already checking me out. I always get the sense when he's scuba diving that they, they play this game with you. Octopuses adapt their environments around them to their own liking. They clean out a hole, under a rock or in a crevice, blowing out sand and debris with their siphon. And at that point, it's not just shelter. It's home. Hey there. Are you interested in some food? Octopus love crab. Oh, there it is. She's definitely feeling for it. Oh, 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 she's after the tube, not the crab. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. All right, look at the color pattern. That is a satisfied octopus. I like the texture she's put on. She didn't have that before. The papillae coming up around the eye and the sort of bumps and things all over her head. It's very nice. Now she at least will know that the tube and the environment have interesting possibilities. Laurel is also going to be helping me take care of the octopus. You know, the octopus was very happy to see Laurel every day. Hello. Laurel was just glad to have a, a pet that was glad to see her. Yeah. I think a lot of her pets kind of indifferent to her. Her goldfish and her rabbit outside. Mm -hmm. and you want so an octopus is kind of fun because it comes running. Looks like she's coming back over. Laura would send me little video clips of the octopus getting up and waiting on the glass and ready to play. And, you know, I'm sure Laura looked forward to it every day. Come here, Heidi. Some of the things that, ooh, 
things she would do remind me of what like dogs would do. Oh, you're already up here. Come here. You know, she comes over to the the the, the wall of the tank and just kind of like all excited to see you. And so being an intelligent animal means that you need a lot of stimulus. So being played with or having just like interactions with people is entertaining for her. Laurel tells me she'd sit for 30 minutes with the octopus just holding on to her. Wait for it to let go. And now she's excited. <laughs> so she'd sit there with her hand in the aquarium for 30 minutes. So they're, they're pretty affectionate. She's filming more of the sand right now. Well, now she's filming me. <laughs> Hi, Heidi. The reason we call her Heidi was because when we first got her, she spent a very, very long time in her den, and she was just hiding the whole time. Uh, she didn't seem to want to come out. And then, basically, once we taught her that we meant food, she just grabbed on and was like, okay, I'm keeping you with me. 